I'm Matthew Diath from Two Minds. I'm going to be doing a film magazine analysis and uh, the magazine company that I will be doing is Sight & Sound. I am creating a Sight & Sound um, magazine for Two Minds as part of my coursework, so that's why I decided to do their company as an analysis, so I have uh, research to go to when I want to find out about conventions and elements in their magazines. Um, I am doing it on a podcast, so you won't be able to see what I'm looking at, but hopefully to be able to describe it well enough for you to visualise it. Um, so the magazine cover, uh, Sight and Sound, the company uh, was founded in 1932. The editor is Nick James. Uh, the publisher is the British Film Institute. Um, it's a British magazine, it's released monthly. Uh, the actual magazine I will be doing is from January 2016, volume 26, issue number one. It's of The Revenant, and it stars Leonardo DiCaprio and the Oscar-winning performance he does on that, on that film. Uh, so let's start straight away. Now, this magazine cover does follow the conventions of mainstream magazines. It has all technical all the technical features you would expect. Uh, let's just start with the first one, which is the masthead. This is the main title and normally the name at the front of the publication of the uh, news uh, magazine cover, uh, company, sorry. So it says Sight and Sound in bright yellow and red. Uh, it makes the reader become familiar with the magazine company uh, they are reading. If you start changing the font of it or the colours, you know, the audience is going to become estranged to it. Uh, we have the puff on this particular cover. Uh, that is a a news story that is editorized um where there's like a, some sort of state incentive statement inside so it for example in this one it's a red circle and in the middle quote it says plus the best films of 2015 end quote so that just draws the a reader in it makes them want to open up the magazine and read it read and find the incentive you know they'll have an incentive to read it uh, Sight and Sound has a publisher of B BVFI, BFI, sorry. So they do have the BFI logo top left, and they have the pug top right, which is the date. Uh, they have the splash at the bottom, which is all the uh, small headlines, sub headlines inside the magazine. Uh, the main picture is of Leonardo DiCaprio, not an actor, but in character. I do not have the protagonist's name from the Revenant, but it's in the character form. Instead of Leonardo DiCaprio as the actor. Um, in this particular cover, the main image um, is in the foreground, whereas the masthead is in the background. So Leonardo DiCaprio's head actually goes over uh, the bottom of the sight and sound uh, tagline. Uh, sorry, masthead. Above the masthead, there is the skyline, which reads, quote, the international film magazine, quote, and this is to <clears throat> uh, make the audience aware that it is a large uh, magazine cover company. It is worldwide, it is important, it is mainstream. It's not an independent niche magazine that will tell them nothing about the film. It's a, a popular magazine company. Uh, the strap line is just below the bold, the revenant at the bottom, and this is a introduction to the headline. Sometimes it's below the masthead, but in this one it's below the main image. A little bit for more information is the cover lines, which is at the bottom, which I've mentioned already. They are essential for the articles inside the magazine. Uh, they are like a cell line of the articles. They like give a a taste of what the actual articles inside have it's to tease on the audience for them to read more. Uh, there is the barcode on the right hand side and the price which is crucial obviously for selling and on exposition. Um, and at the bottom there are strips uh, which give information of inside the article. Now what I have noticed that is that the mise en scène in this magazine is crucial. The facial expressions, the gesture, the hair, the makeup, the objects, the background, what's in the background or the foreground are crucial in, in drawing the audience in. And 
that is the main purpose of the front cover is to draw the audiences and I've said it a few times now but if, if they aren't able to catch the audience's eye and bring them in the consumer is not going to buy the product and that's the main purpose the, the basic principle of the main cover of the front cover is to get the consumer to buy the magazine this also links to the text I mean the language features for example what's on the main uh, uh, sorry uh, the cover lines such as rhymes, alliteration, metaphors, pun, adjectives. I mean, sometimes the uh, the pug, not the pug, sorry, the puff, has um, puns or adject um, alliteration to, to you know catch the audience's eye and make them think and make them want to be intrigued about the uh, articles within. Uh, the text size and the color and the placement is all crucial as well to conform to the conventions of magazines and to their own company standards if you start moving the mousehead's positioning um, of the magazine halfway through the comp uh, the magazine's annual release it's going to put the, put the audience off it's going to be a unnatural change unwanted change i mean that is a short analysis of uh, this magazine cover of the revenant um, it has helped me actually from creating this podcast of me looking into the masthead and the technical fe technical features that are used in the Sight and Sound magazine covers and used in other mainstream uh, com uh, magazine companies such as Empire or Total Film. Uh, there are slight differences in independent ones such as Little White Lies that use different conventions uh, but still take the same technical features. They just place, place the main... Uh, masthead in different positions or they don't use uh, the splash or that the main picture is different than just a headshot of a close-up of the uh, director or protagonist um, yes it's been very helpful for me I hope uh, this displays my knowledge in uh, magazine covers and uh, has taught you a little bit more about magazine covers yourself thank you